Welcome back friends. Today we're going to be discussing grips for your semi-automatic pistol. In particular we're going to be talking about grips from the Lock Grip Company. I've been using them for a long time on several of my pistols and I've got three examples here and I've got to tell you they have always always fit just perfectly. These things are CNC manufactured out of G10 material and they slide right on just like a factory grip. I have never had a fit and finish problem with these things. Never had to take a Dremel or a file or make any type of adjustment at all. They've always been perfect. Now I've got three examples here. Different weapons that I use in competition. This one here is the Walther PPQ Q5 match in the steel frame version. This is a Ruger 2245 light and this is my CZ75 SPO1 shadow. Sometimes I'm just looking to change the look of the pistol aesthetically. I just want a different color or something like that. Other times I want a different grip texture or a different thickness or something like that. In this particular pistol we were doing both of those things. I wanted to change uh, the looks of this gun. It was all black except for this cool looking blue trigger. So I picked out some really neat looking black grips with this blue design in it. But I also noticed that they made this with a flat back strap. Now the original PPQ grips, if you're familiar with them at all, had this hump in the back. And ergonomically, feels pretty darn good. But I was having a particular problem on my draw stroke, getting it out of the holster. If I didn't get my web of my hand perfectly high up here, I would rock on that hump back here. And so it was causing me to try to adjust my grip as I was trying to get on target and it was just uh, kind of a mess. Of course you can fix that with more practice but I seem to have a problem with that. So in this case this is a situation where functionality and aesthetics kind of met up. Now this gun here I just wanted to change the looks of it. The grips that came on it were perfectly fine but I have an OD green holster for this and I really like OD green so I picked out some OD green and black grips. Now as I mentioned earlier these things are manufactured on a CNC machine and when you're machining uh, G10 material you never know what kind of pattern you're going to get. So I got this really cool pattern on this one and what they did with these grips my original Ruger grips have this little diamond pattern here at the mounting screws and they incorporated that at lock with these grips. So this looks just like a factory replacement grip and I couldn't be happier with them. Now on my CZ here, CZ grips are the most popular grip that Lock makes. They come in nine different textures. They come in three different thicknesses and you're going to look at the different colors until you go blind. I mean it is just crazy. On this particular gun, it comes out of the custom shop with these really nice aluminum grips and it has kind of a skateboard texture inlay to it but they just didn't work for me very well just a little too slick and I wanted something else so I picked this particular one and like I said they come in three different thicknesses they come in what's called their thin which is the factory uh, thickness then they have a standard which is a little thicker and this one is the palm swell and I picked the palm swell because hmm, I'm a palm swell kind of guy so my girly little hands just seem to marry up with the palm swell type grip just really nice and I've got it on other pistols so I did it on this one as well. Now as far as the texture, like I said they come in nine different textures and they will explain all of those on their website which one is more aggressive and which one is you might have a problem if you're using it as a carry weapon it might be uh, you know it might rub on your holster or rub on your shirt or something for instance while I was waiting for these grips a buddy of mine loaned me some lock grips from his spare CZ and these are the thin bogies. Thin means that's the thickness of the grip which is the same as the factory grip and the bogey is the texture that is one of their most aggressive textures. Just give you a look at these two. The bogey here on the left is more of a raised dimple like you would see on a golf ball. This is more of a raised diamond and I really really like the texture on this. Now here in Texas you know in June, July and August it's pretty hot and sweaty and with guns this heavy you know 41, 42 ounce type guns you better have a good grip on these things. But 
the bogey texture was just a little too much for me, but my buddy really loves them. But you can get anything you want. And like I said, once you start looking at the colors, you can really make your gun jump with something really wild and crazy. In addition to that, they also offer custom inlays and engraving. And you'll see that right on their homepage. Just click that box. Fill out a little bit of information. Attach a JPEG if you want. If you've got a, say you're from Canada and you want to put a maple leaf here. Or you're Irish and you want to put a, you know, four leaf clover. Something like that. Or you know a guy like the goat mumbler. has got a real cool goat head. Just put that thing on there and they can do it for you. They'll give you a quote. Add it to the price of your grip. And it might take a little longer lead time, but you're going to get something that's going to look really, really tricked out. And it's going to be just for you. So there you have it. I've got some grips here. Super, you know, super happy with all of them. And these grips from Lock, I can't recommend them higher. So until next time, you guys be safe and keep that muzzle pointed in a safe direction. And we hope to see you out on the range. Adios.